All right. Good afternoon, traders. Thanks for joining and uh, taking your time to check out this week's trading webinar. Uh, right off the bat, as always, quick test of audio and visual. If you can hear my voice and see this opening slide, can you guys go ahead and type a Y in the chat box for me? All right. Thank you, guys. Seems to be uh, coming through all right. Okay, so um, be sure to use the chat to ask any questions throughout the webinar, and we will get to those uh, primarily after the presentation. Uh, today, we're joined by our good friend, Ference, who is the founder of Remick Trading Systems based out of Toronto, Canada. Uh, now, most of you should be familiar with me. My name is um, Ty. I'm coming at you guys from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I handle the business development here at Shark Indicators. I've been involved in the trading industry for several years, and um, outside of this kind of stuff, I also enjoy boxing and jujitsu. Uh, I don't know if any of you traders are also practitioners of any martial arts, but it's a great way to relieve stress, um, which we all know, you know, trading can be stressful. So on that note, before I pass it off to Ference, let's take a quick look at the risk disclosure. Um, take a minute and look this over. Uh, futures, foreign currency, and options trading contains substantial risk and is not for every investor. And just to answer the question that I know is coming, this webinar is being recorded. So just look for an email from Ty at Shark Indicators, and I'll get it out to you guys uh, tomorrow morning at the latest. So if you can give your attention to Ference, he's going to show you guys uh, what you all came here to see. So at this point, Ference, I'm going to promote you to presenter so you can introduce yourself to some of the Shark audience here, and then you can get right into it. Thank you very much, Ty. I hope you can hear me well, and my sound, my voice is coming over loud and clear. Let me see if I can choose the proper screen. I think that's the one. Mm -hmm. Your so audio is speaking can... through loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ty. Um, I wonder if you can see my screen as well with two uh, yes, computers in front. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, everyone. And if you hear a little nervousness in my voice, that's because I am a little nervous. Uh, it's not every day that we come out with a a really greatly enhanced version of a software product um, that this time we'll call 2.0. Um, and I'd like to present a little bit uh, about the Remex system, the new version. This is the official launch. We had some pre-sale last week for existing customers, but this is actually the day that we're going uh, public with the system. So it is my pleasure to be here. And uh, also thank you, Ty, for the kind invitation just a few days before I head off to Europe. And uh, so let's jump right into it. I hope I can move to the next slide. Okay, here we go. All right, very briefly, as always, the agenda. Um, I have, oh, just before I say anything, uh, this uh, PowerPoint or slideshow will be available. So I'm not going to bother to click on all the links uh, just to save a little time. But after the presentation, uh, in the email, I can include the link to this file with all the uh, with all the links intact. So you can feel free to check out our products and services on the site. Uh, we have two main products out of which we'll highlight one today, and that's the Remex system version two. So um, I'd like to say a few words about the trading environment, the operating environment, the environment that we all work in. Um, I hope to be able to tell you a couple of things that you might find useful for your own trading and for your own trading business. And then I'd like to shed a little light on what uh, I read in a very re uh, interesting book recently and what those letters S, all, S L, and R might stand for. And uh, then that's going to be really brief. And then we're going to jump right into uh, showing you off the showing off to you the new version of the software. There will be time for questions and of course, a special offer at the end. All right. So the first thing I noticed when I uh, during my work, when I uh, design strategies for people and share screens with people all over the world now is that uh, it is striking to me how different charts, professionals' charts from, well, basically many other people's charts are. I have noticed that professionals often use charts, uh, obviously successfully, which are much simpler than uh, charts other people use. So uh, that made me think a little bit, and I'd like to share a few thoughts in that regard today. 
And I hope that uh, the purpose of this whole thing is to show you how the Remex system can help uh, all of us to move into that direction. Okay, right. So as we know, the operating environment, trading, uh, our business, the business, uh, the environment that we run the business in is mostly, well, or uh, too often anyway, random, uh, unpredictable, there are many thousands, millions of factors at play, like the weather, it's impossible to forecast with 100% accuracy. And uh, I also wanna point out that obviously, you know, voodoo and magic and superstition and many other things that people often believe in do not really work. So I would urge you, not just when using or considering to use the Remax system, but when using any system in your trading business to really think over if a certain tool adds value to what you do. And if it doesn't, it should not be on the chart. So we don't wanna add complexity to an already complex enough environment. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. Uh, simplify as much as possible, but not more. But when simplification is called for, then don't be you know, hesitant to remove something from the chart if it doesn't add value, if it just adds confusion or uh, you know, less clarity. Okay, uh, one more thing. Let me just click on this chart. This is a, I wanted to show this to you in a few minutes. Uh, and, but before, can I ask somebody, this is a random chart generator and just to play a little game, can I ask somebody to type in any number in the chat box, any digit, any number? I just want to copy and paste a number and, uh, if you could, let me see if I can see the chat box. I'm not sure if I see it, entire audience. Yeah, uh, down on the uh, GoToWebinar toolbar, you'll see um, questions and you can actually undock oh, the questions. I can see it now, thank you. Okay, so I got a triple six, wonderful. Thank you, Patrick. Okay, so thank you, Ty, as well. So I'm just gonna copy and paste and this is an Excel chart, it's no big deal. Any number you can type in here, it will produce uh, a random chart. It can be big, can be small, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, let's use 666 from Patrick. And uh, what I'm trying to highlight here, if I can find a pencil here, yeah, maybe I can, is that, wonderful, is that on any chart, this is obviously a random chart. It has nothing to do with the market or psychology or market structure or price action, nothing. But I'm able to, oh, sorry, I'm trying to use a straight line. Okay, I'm not sure which the straight line might be, but no, not that one. Sorry, I'm a little clumsy with this today, but uh, perhaps, okay, let me just try to learn this quickly. Give me a second. I think I want a pen. Let's try again. Anyway, so imagine this is a straight line, okay? So there, that might be like a, a breakout area. This might be a double bottom uh, or another resistance area. Uh, a trend, what a beautiful trend, and another potential line that we might be interested in. And whatever uh, random chart we put on this page, oh, let me just take this off. Uh, believe me, and you can see it as well, that in just a second or two, we'll find outstanding uh, setups to trade. Now, the only problem is this is not the financial market. This is not any market. This is dummy data and it's random data. So my point is that since markets are mostly random, obviously during the day, as the chart develops a real chart, uh, the market that you trade develops uh, in front of you on the screen, much of the action, the best setups, the best double bottoms, the best breakout areas or whatever, a consolidation that you know we we all uh, are familiar with and we all love to trade may just not be what they seem to be they may just be random events in the universe that look like 
um, significant, but they're not. And that causes a problem. And we'll get back to this in just one second. So let me close this chart and move on. Okay, and also erase the drawings. So that just adds complexity uh, to an already confusing environment. Uh, not every setup really reflects, uh, you know, uh, market action that we want to be involved with. And there will be probably a significant market actions that will not show up on the chart. So we have our problem is twofold. And uh, let's see how we can, maybe I should. Okay, move to this chart. Okay, so if we cannot control the market's randomness, which in this uh, uh, situation, let, we can call it luck as well. Luck uh, is not bad luck or good luck. It has no uh, uh, sign, plus or minus. It's just a neutral word. And in this context, I'm going to use it as a, just a synonym for randomness. So, okay. So if we cannot control the market's randomness, we should consider what we can control and what is on our side, what we can develop in a, in a mostly random environment, uh, if we cannot control luck, we have to control and start to develop and work on a more consistent performance. We have to control our skill and improve our skill. Now, if we include the skill, if we, I'm sorry, if we improve our skills and randomness is what it is, then hopefully our results might improve. Let me see if I can move to the next slide. Yes, this is it. Okay, so consider this situation very quickly. Uh, let's see that our skill level uh, fluctuates. We are, you know, people, humans, we cannot, we're not able to perform 100% uh, every moment of the day. So there will be some fluctuations and let's call those fluctuations between minus five and plus five. Let's say just for the example's sake that luck which we have no control over, that's the randomness of the, of the market. I just like to get rid of this little, okay. Uh, it also varies between minus five and plus five. So if you consider all the possible results of these two factors, then you get some kind of wavy line that will uh, represent the results. Probably, if I count it correctly, the, the worst case scenario would be minus 10, right? If both my skill and my luck is the worst possible that given day, let's say, and it would be plus 10 if everything is beautiful and I'm performing at, you know, top quality and uh, I'm very lucky at the same time as well. So my performance will, let's say, fluctuate between plus 10 and minus 10. Now, I do not have control over the luck part, but how can I improve my, my end result? How can I make my, let's say, my PNL uh, less variable, my drawdowns less, or yeah, less, I guess. Uh, and that is only possible by improving what we can control, and that's our skill. Imagine this. Uh, if I'm able to improve my skill and reduce the variability of my performance, let's say, in this example, between minus one and plus one, that means I'm still not perfect, but the mistakes I make are not as severe. And perhaps I'm not, you know, performing at peak performance every day, but I'm very reliable. I'm much more reliable than here. That means that the result will move between minus six and plus six, which is, you know, will result in less variability and a more stable performance. So the point of this whole exercise would be to highlight the fact that uh, many people control, many people are adding indicators and stuff and, uh, you know, other tools to the charts and looking for systems and solutions, easy solutions. But that's basically all on the lock side. 
And not everybody or not enough people, I think, uh, focus on inner work, on what we can do, which is improving our skills, identifying setups, uh, embracing the fact that the market is largely random and believe in the large in the law of large numbers and believing in our system and believing in our uh, basically positive edge. So bear with me for a second. I'm moving towards the Remex system and how it can uh, basically potentially revolutionize uh, your trading together with Bloodhound when coupled with Bloodhound and, uh, and Blackbird. Before I jump over to the Remex system, this is basically what I'd like you to take away from these uh, oh, sorry, couple of slides. Uh, one is about simplicity. Do not add complexity if you don't have to. Numbers are your friend. You do have to, you, you see, we never know what the next trade will be. Uh, but if we have a good system, we know what the results will be after 100 trades. So think in a series of numbers, think of 50 trades, 100 trades, 300 trades, and trust your system, test your system, and then trust your system. And uh, never stop improving your skills. Now, I have mentioned this already, this part here. Okay, again, sorry. I don't know how to get rid of these drawing tools, but, uh, oh, maybe like this. Okay, I'm learning as I go. All right. Uh, and then one difficulty, and I think this came up already, that not every market imbalance will produce a chart pattern. Sometimes significant events will occur on the chart, providing good trading opportunities, but there's nothing on the chart that would have showed it to me or to us. And the, the other situation is also true, is that not every beautiful double bottoms or breakouts or triangles or pullbacks and whatnots are actually reflective of what is happening in the background in the market. So we have to live with these two facts. And that leads us to that little introduction, as it were, leads us to what we can control. And that's our process. Now, let me show you how the Remax system with Bloodhound and Blackbird can help with that. This is the thinking process of the, what we call the Remex thinking process uh, that we use every day. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all the details and the people who have used the system or have visited our website uh, know this already. The only thing that's new as of yesterday is that I drew up, I drew up this little chart that I hope will make it even easier to well, to practice it and to learn it and internalize it for those of you who are interested in using this system. Uh, it is not very complicated as far as we're concerned. It's as simple as it can be with very easy uh, decision points, yes, no answers. And uh, it's a recursive project or pro process rather, uh, which is of course based on written, your own written risk and money management rules because that's one thing that we do not know. We do not know our customers' uh, account size, uh, preferences, trading style, uh, time zone, interest, preferred instruments. So there's many factors that we do not know. The Remex system is a framework that can be adapted to uh, with version 2.0, I think I can say for most trading situations and more about that later. So let's move on. Uh, please, uh, if you're interested, please check out this chart later Eraser drawings, okay, uh, after the webinar, if you want. And you can also go to this chart uh, in the presentation itself and just click on it. All right, so next one. Yes, now I'd like to, uh, before we move on, I'd like to mention that when we talk and when we deal with the Remex system, when we use the Remex system, uh, we had to agree on certain terminology, so certain expressions that we use. And we are aware that, you know, traders in the trading world, expressions are sometimes can be a little confusing. So before I move on, I just like to make sure that we understand the same thing uh, by the same terms. So when it comes to the Remex system, 
a position trade will be a kind of trade that whereby you stay in the trade through several pullbacks. Basically, you're fishing for bigger fish. As opposed to that, a swing trade is a trade where it's not a time frame in this case. We, the, word, the way we use this term is we just take one swing out of the market. And when the swing is done, we're out. In the position trading mode, we, our stops are farther away and our aim is to ride the wave as long as we can. And our exit will be when the system gives us proof that the trend is likely to be over. All right. And here, I guess it's just the same thing written down. So please remind yourself of the, this is when I say position trade or swing trade in the next couple of minutes, this is what I'm going to mean by it. And uh, let's move on. Okay. Uh, one improvement is a technical improvement in the Remex system. Installation is much easier. We have an MSI file. You just have to double click on it when you uh, download the file. The system is actually available for two weeks, for 15 days. There's a free trial for 15 days. So you're welcome to uh, just fill out an email on the, on the website, sign up for the trial. You'll get a link and you're welcome to use the system. It's a full, fully functional system uh, for 15 days before you decide whether it's for you or not. So uh, installation usually doesn't really cause a problem, but if you have any questions, we're always here to help. Okay, and now I think this is the point where I think we should just delve into it and uh, check out the system. Before we do that, would you have any questions about stuff that I've mentioned so far? or we'd rather keep the questions to the end. Let me see if I can make this window bigger. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see your questions now, guys. Thank you. All right, let's see the tools. Good idea, Patrick. Let's see the tools. So uh, I think I have to get out of this screen and move over to ninja trader and hopefully you'll see um, three charts which we call the remec workspace we work on three charts very briefly precision chart is where the strategy will be running we have a trading chart that's the chart that we actually trade and please bear with me usually during the day we of course, we maximize these screens. We have several monitors. So this is how we look at the charts uh, in, in real life. Uh, but since I'm just broadcasting one monitor, I wanted to put all the three charts on one screen. The chart on the left is called the confirmation chart. For those of you who are new to the system, that's the higher time frame chart that we like to look at before we make a decision about a trade. Now, uh, the system itself, will run on the smallest chart, and that is the precision chart. It will run on the smallest chart because that's just uh, a rule that we follow uh, so that all the ingredients of the system work up in an optimal way, Blackbird, Bloodhound, and the Remex system, as well as uh, our favored and favorite bars, which are also products of shark indicators. We have two bars that we like using the SIBT Renko and the SI Pro Renko. In this case, we're looking at the BT Renko. Uh, more about the bar types a little later. So uh, first things first, we are running a market replay, April 23, sometime 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so we have a moving chart. And the first thing I do, if I can, How do, how do I get rid of this pen, I wonder? I'd like to get my cursor back. Okay. Uh, give me one moment, guys. I need to get my cursor back so I can put the strategy on the chart. That's the one. All right. So right-click on the precision chart, strategies, 
most of you will know this already. And the Remex system runs, think of Blackbird as a container. Uh, Blackbird will add on top of the Remex system, Blackbird is able to add, or we are able to add using Blackbird uh, more sophisticated trade management settings and rules predefined that cover basically the whole probability space, which uh, is just a fancy word for all the possibilities that can occur uh, after we enter a trade. So Blackbird on the chart, I'm going to choose a, as soon as my file manager opens up, or blood, a Blackbird opens up, I'm going to choose the appropriate file. And here I'd like to stop for just a moment. Uh, the users who've been using Remec version 1.x did not have such an abundance of files here in this directory. Now we have one, two, six, eight files, which are various, cater for various uh, trading styles and trading timeframes. I'm going to go into more details in just a moment. Let me just say that the Remec system version 2 has three editions, a basic, advanced, and a professional. More about what they can do in just a second. But at this time, I need to, depending on which, per, which system I bought or which system I want to use in the given situation, let's say I'm just going to put on the basic SIBT Renko. And if you notice, I'm using the SIBT Renko bar type. So I'm going to choose the appropriate bar type and the appropriate file. And I just have to wait a moment till Blackbird loads up all the rules. Now, in the meantime, while we're waiting, let me say a few words about the differences. Let me backtrack a little bit and just say a few words about the differences of the basic, the advanced, and the pro version. The basic version trades the trading style that is most appropriate for is swing trading, which means the basic version is a good solution if you if your psychological setup or or if your preference or uh, just your trading preference favors swing trading. Now, swing trading, remember what it means. We take one swing mercilessly. We take one swing out of the market. That's all we are here for. We just take the money and the trade is done. That's swing trading. And that's what the Remax system 2.0 basic edition was built for. So I'm going to click on the chart, just activate the system. And you will see the beautiful colors from Blackbird. And Blackbird as a, I always think of it as a container, contains inside of it the Remax system, which here we go which is now put on the chart. I usually start trading with trading disabled. That's a mode where no trades will be taken, but I'm already able to see the signals. Now, please wear with me. I often start in auto, but you can start in any mode. The main thing is that you don't really want to take a trade before you looked at the charts. That's all. So with the Remex system, and many of you will know this already, uh, we are basically looking out for three types of setups. And at all times, we remember what, what we said at the first part of the presentation, when a setup comes, part of our job as a trader is to realize and remember the fact that when a setup comes, my job is to trade it but I have no control over the outcome. Now, that's really tough. It's not really, we humans are not built that way, you know? So when I go to work, I want to get paid. In trading, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. I enter the trade, I don't know if I'm gonna get paid or if I'm the one who has to pay. And that's a very uncomfortable situation for any humans. Uh, and this is something we have to just kind of develop this skill or or uh, embrace this fact. OK, so I don't know what's going to happen is this. I really don't. I haven't memorized the market replaced. It doesn't really matter. But when I look at the trading chart, 
is the chart that where I start my observation activity, as it were, I'm noticing that this is yesterday's close, this dark brown area. And uh, one thing that, of course, I have no idea what's going to happen, but one thing that may happen is after price uh, reaches this level, it might turn back and find a support area here. Now, that's just a theory at the moment. I have no proof. It's a hypothesis. And when I look at a chart, remember, remember the random chart. I'm thinking loud now. I really haven't, didn't see this chart before. I'm thinking loud now. And who knows if I'm right? Who knows if I'm just imagining things or if these are really going to be usable setups? But what one thing I can do is I can strictly follow my process. Every time I interact with the market, I have to strictly follow my process. That's the best chance I have, apart from having a system with a, with a positive edge, of course. Now, so in this case, I'm identifying a potential pullback area. And this is what we're going to call in the REMEX system, when we trade with the REMEX system in the terminology, what we're going to call area of business. An area of business, so my area of business is not the whole chart. It's like real estate. I'm not interested in the corners and everything. I'm, I'm only interested sometimes in doing anything. Most of the time, my job is to do nothing. In this case, when I analyze the chart, I can identify a potential area, a pullback area, which I'm going to designate as my area of business. From this point on, uh, the process diagram that you'll be able to study in detail at your own leisure because it's, it's on the website uh, tells me what to do. I identify the business, the area of business, and then basically I'm going to wait for price to return within this area. Now, two things can happen. Either it doesn't return, it just keeps going, and that's fine with me, but then I, I have nothing to do or it does return, second possibility, it does return, but it doesn't stop, it just keeps going. In that case, since I'm not planning a short trade, in that case, that's okay with me as well, I got nothing to do. The third possibility is my hypothesis, because what I'm actually getting the system ready for is this, a beautiful pullback, and I want to enter long but not from here. I want to enter long when price inflects, which means when price uh, turns. And that's usually with the high probability, the best potential entry for my pullback trade. And a pullback trade is one of the setups that we trade with the Remax system, actually the most significant one. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, check this out because it's moving out. I, I don't have much time to talk. I have to act now because what I'm planning to do is go long when price turns on my precision chart. I'm going to enable the system. I switch the system to long mode and I can release the mouse and I can sit back. And at this point, I've made my decision to wait for this trade. And the trade will either occur or not because the trigger hasn't happened yet. The setup is emerging but there hasn't been a trigger yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be triggered into the trade. The next step in my thinking process depends on what happens next. If this candle or if this area, I get a green candle and, a, and price inflects, which means it turns, then I'll be automatically in a long trade. I have nothing to do. And after I'm entered into the trade, my trade management rules, thanks to Remex, the Remex system in Blackbird, will take care of any eventualities, either on the profit grabbing side or on the capital preservation side. Uh, on the other hand, if price at this point keeps going, then watch this, I'm in long mode. So I have, I'm not in danger of taking a short trade. I'm not planning to take a short trade. If it goes down, I'm not, I'm not gonna chase price. Maybe it will break down, maybe it would be a wonderful short trade, but. At this point, that's not what I'm interested for. That's not what my hypothesis uh, dictates for me to do. Now, 
if price, again, if price turns in my area of business, I'm going to be dragged into a trade automatically on the long side. If price doesn't stop here and keeps going, then I will only have to do one thing, press the button. And thereby, I'm going to disable the system and I go back to neutral mode. I go back to the default mode, which means observation mode, doing nothing, just observe the market, wait for the next setup. So that's basically the Remex system process, the thinking process that we follow uh, every time, each time we interact with the market. Now, let me speed up the chart a little bit and see what happens. I have to be, oh, I sorry, I missed the trade. Okay, I missed the trade. I made a mistake. I should have been enabled and then I would have been dragged into the trade, right? And uh, so this is what happens. Now I'm in a trade and I have to be ready for the possibility of this being a loser, of this being a winner, of this being a break even. Now, I haven't done much analysis because I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. And the purpose of this demonstration is not really to showcase what a genius I am uh, in market replay, but to show you how we think. So regardless of the outcome, which is largely random with an edge, but still largely random, we have to concentrate on the process. And the process has to be firm, in our head and execute it with professionalism. All right, so looks like we're gonna be stopped out from this trade, who knows? But our capital preservation algo stepped in and it gave us a little loss, but saved us from the psychological and the material pain of staying in the trade for another couple of thousand dollars because I didn't have the nerves to exit and to admit that I was wrong. Now, let's see. In other videos, I've gone into so much detail about the intricacies and the details of the various setups and complex pullbacks and stuff like that. So I don't really want to spend too much time. This is all available on our website and the blog. Uh, this looks like this long trade, this pullback trade was not successful, which is fine. I've learned from it. The system is disabled and I'm cautiously observing the market and watching out for the next opportunity based on the rules that I have already. This needs to be removed because this hypothesis never became true. All right. I'm glad this was not a winner because then you would have guys thought that I practiced this. So at least you'll see that uh, our result as traders are always a result of two piles. The piles of the losers losing trades and the piles of the winning trades. And if, if and when our system has an edge and if our skill level and performance is stable, then the pile of money we made will be bigger than the pile of money we lost. But the winners are always can always be found among the losers. So why don't we try one more trade just to demonstrate? Hopefully that might be more successful and I'll be able to demonstrate some of the trading stops that we have built into the system and what the system can do once we're in the trade. So this previous example was a good example of what this, how the system manages a trade without emotions when that trade is not a trade that we should be in. If we look at the bigger picture, we know it's like 3.30 a.m. on the euro. Frankfurt and Europe has just woken up. Uh, the U.S. markets are still closed. So it's not normally a time of day that you may want to choose to trade on the euro anyway and in the eastern time zone most of us are not awake at that time either now but this in this situation is very interesting and i'm so lucky that we bumped into this this here let me stop this because this might actually might take 5 10 15 minutes to develop here in real time but this is market replace so i can stop this tape just for one second so i can say something this 
reeks of being a failure test, which is a double bottom in our terminology that reaches below, checks the stops, but has no real intention to go any lower. It's going to turn and it may turn into a powerful move to the upside. And that is something that we can catch with the Remex system with ease. Let me show you how. And I'll show you the three details that we saw. First of all, we already have an inflection point on the precision chart, which is not a surprise because that's the smallest Renko. We already also have a turn, a price inflection on the trading chart, and our green candle is still being built on the largest chart. That's a typical situation that we're always going to deal with when we trade the three sizes of the charts. Now, what do I want to do? I already have proof on the trading chart. Let's have a look that this may just be a failure test trade. If you're new to this system, I don't mind using the term double, double bottom because uh, in this case, it will not make any difference. But what I want to do is to go along aggressively. This is a counter trend trade. I'm not going to wait for pullbacks and wait till the trade or the trend develops, the potential trend anyway. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, yeah, I'm planning to go with this trade aggressively as soon as this candle on the higher time frame is closed. By that time, I'm likely to have a couple of more green candles and potentially I might get a little bit of mini pullback on the precision chart. And that's exactly what I want to do. Wait here and make a plan to go long. I'm not going to switch this on yet because I want to see what might be the best time to switch this on. But I'm going to start the system. Again, I don't know what's going to happen, but these are the rules I must follow. So these are the failure test rules. I'm going to enable the system. Check this out. I'm in a long trade. Let me just slow this down. So this is the real speed. Uh, I'm in a long trade. So far, so good. Again, there's never a guarantee until the trade is done, right? So, but I followed my rules. I can say that, you know, I was disciplined. I, this is a failure test for me. This is what I have to be doing in this situation. This is my risk management uh strategy and bloodhound blackbird and remex system together make sure that this trade is going to be played out for the best possible solution so let's see what that is again uh just a couple of details there are three contracts on the chart the third one you cannot see because it's a runner but the first profit target second target and there's a stop which will move based on predefined rules so the way we trade this after the entry we don't really touch the trade so i think most of the time the best strategy is to not to touch it all the uh, system settings are programmed already and uh, by doing so i'm going to eliminate any potential feelings or emotions either way that i may have in this situation and that might be a bad feeling because this might just turn out to be another loser. But again, at least this is in plain clear sight that I didn't practice this. And this trade also didn't work. But what happened was that this failure test didn't. Basically, the failure test failed. And that can happen. Now we have two losers in a row, and this gives me a good opportunity to highlight your money management rules, which is not hard coded into the system. When you work with this system, you have to define your own money management rules yourself, and I'll show you how to do that. By money management and risk management, let's talk about money management first, is contained in the Blackbird file, and Blackbird is, as far as I'm concerned, as the best tool on the planet to do this for uh, retail traders. Money management, you can define how many trades you want to do one day. So for example, this looks like I lost $400 with these two trades. I might say that, you know, if I have rules not to take a third trade, if I had two losers, 
then I might just call this a day. Uh, these rules must be written down. These rules must not be improvised in the heat of the moment. This, is, this rules must be part of your business plan. But we didn't write the business plan for you. This is something that you'll have to sit down and do the calculations and figure out yourself. But please do have a written business plan. Please have it predefined what happens and what you do and what process, what rules you follow uh, when you have two winners in a row, when you have four winners in a row, when you have two or three losers in a row, what your risk tolerance is. The system as a default comes with three contracts, but you don't you don't have to do three contracts. You can start with one contract or you can trade 13 contracts. It's all up to you. It's very easy to customize the Blackbird settings. And I'm sure most of you have uh, already done that, or at least I've seen Shark Indicators Excel videos on YouTube about this. But if you haven't, please check them out. All right, uh, moving on. There are risk management rules as well. And there's many other settings that you can read about and think about and set them up. For example, next maximum, net maximum profit, you made $500 for the day, you can stop trading. You can even get out from a live trade if you made that, uh, if you have achieved your financial goal for the day. Maximum number of trades, consecutive wins. There's many, many settings you can set up and these settings must be carefully considered basically uh, before you start trading. All right, so again, to sum it up, the basis of this whole complex system, which is not as complicated, it's complex, but not complicated, is the Remex system. The Remex system comes in three editions. And let me just walk you through it once, once more. The, where are we? The basic, Okay, the basic edition, for some reason, because I'm in the wrong folder. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I have to go. It's the wrong dialog box. I have to open this one, I guess. Okay, Ninja is slowing down on me, I'm sorry. So basically, in the meantime, the Remax system has three templates, Blackbird. Okay, here we go. The basic system is most suitable for swing trading, which means you take one swing out of the market. Uh, exits, profit taking is aggressive. And uh, it, the purpose of this kind of trading style is not try to survive pullbacks but to take the money when price reaches an extreme point and turns. The advanced version adds a bit more to it. It adds one trading style to uh, your repertoire and, uh, and uh, allows you to basically trade position trading uh, and stay in the trade for, you know, through pullbacks for larger gains and also larger gains carry potentially larger risk as well. Usually what I would say is position trading demands a larger account. It can be quite profitable, but it certainly demands or requires a larger account. And last but not least, we have the pro version, which has everything that the other two have, plus adds a very interesting feature. The professional version, you can use any Renko bar. So we have developed this. Often people ask that, you know, we have already our own Renko. We have our favorite Renkos and we'd like to have the option at least to try the system or to reuse the system without being tied to a certain Renko bar. So we have accommodated their request and this professional version. Now we continue to recommend our two Renko bars, SI Pro Renko and SIBT Renko, but if some people have their own Renkos, other third-party Renkos, now they have technically, the software will not uh, prevent them from using other third-party Renkos. So that's one feature. And also position and swing trading is included in the system. And one more feature, which we call instant reversal, 
which I'm not going to go into too much detail because I need to keep an eye on the clock as well. Uh, but it's all detailed in the documentation. I'm going to show you the link to the documentation in one second. So our demonstration has really worked out beautifully because both of my trades were losers, but at least I did have the opportunity to highlight the randomness of the market that we started the presentation with and also show you uh, money management and risk management rules within the system. Now, going back to the presentation, let me just move this out of the way a little bit. All right, uh, this chart, I'm not going to play these videos for you right now. Uh, hopefully they're not gonna start automatically but these are the videos for later reference from our YouTube channel. Uh, a small collection of trades that we have already, or trading sessions rather, that we have already done with the Remex system. And some of them are actually recordings of full weeks. It's rather indiscriminate, 24-7, uh, no stopping. Uh, there are trades like two minutes before the close and lunchtime. So there are trades that, or fifth or sixth trades in a, in a, or pullback trades in a trend that we would normally not take. We prefer taking the second or third. Uh, but having said that, with all those trades that were taken by the system in auto mode, uh, I'm kind of proud to say that the systems are still profitable. So if you tr if you play these videos, and go to the end. Here you can see Friday, it starts on Monday and Friday 5 p.m. after hundreds of trades, you will be able to see for yourself, oops, sorry, the end result, basically the PL at 5 p.m. 4,700. I'm, I hate to say numbers because numbers don't, I mean, dollar numbers don't, do not matter. But each, and these are different instruments, there's CL, 6C, and all three versions of the Remex system, all three editions of the Remex systems are high, highlighted. And uh, the other thing, apart from the monetary numbers here, which is not really the main point here, the main point is for you to be able to follow the trades that the Remex system does when it's in auto mode. And that brings me to a very important, uh, well, also a disclaimer and warning and, and suggestion and advice. Uh, the Remax system was not built to be run 24 seven in auto mode. It is a very capable system. If you look at the results, you will see that, you know, if a bunch of trades includes all those stupid trades two minutes before the close, and still able to produce substantial profits, then let me ask you, you know, what is that system gonna be capable of when it's in the hands of a good trader, all right? But having said that, it's like a good car, it needs a good driver. It definitely needs a driver. This is not a driverless car, definitely not a driverless car, although it is capable of bringing good results and reaching the destination uh, another good result at the end of Friday here in auto mode as well. I do encourage you to explore this system, to explore long and short modes, and to do, uh, just to spend a couple of days reading the documentation, uh, which is available on our website. I think I might be able to show it to you quickly. So here, if you go to the website, You can reach it from Remex system too. Just click on it and it's right here in the middle. And there's a quite detail, detailed uh, description and instructions and how to use, uh, uh, how, to, how to use the system. Also the process diagram is here. So you can spend some time internalizing this process. This is, if you do want to, if you do plan to trade with the Remex system, you have to learn this or well, or come up with a better one. If you come up with a better one, please let me know. I'm ready to learn. 
Uh, you can customize this as well. I'm not saying this is written in stone, but you should certainly have your own version of a thinking process, of a trading process that you adhere to at all times when you interact with the market. All right, uh, let me see what I, what else I had to say. Uh, the Remex system comes, let me just show you this page quickly once we are here. So this is the main page of the system and you can hear, or you can see, sorry, you can see the three editions with the detailed descriptions of the functionalities and you see advanced includes position trading and the professional includes one, two, three functionalities that the other two don't. Uh, you're welcome, during the trial, by the way, the 15-day trial, uh, you're welcome to try out any of them because the trial license will activate all three. So once you sign up for the trial, you can spend time and explore all three editions of the system. When you purchase it, you need to, you'll need to decide which one you want to purchase, but until then, you're free to use either, any of the three. Okay, and I think we have arrived to our last page which will continue, will uh, includes all the info about the special offers but also question and answer q a period so i already see a lot of questions and forgive me if i haven't really had time to read through them but i'd like to do it now and uh, try to answer a couple of questions okay let me start Pardon me, but let me start with the last one. Amit is asking, right, okay, let me show you the system. Amit is asking if a signal is generated at each price inflection. Not at all. Uh, if you're in long mode, if you're in long mode, then it will give you the next inflection point. In the meantime, we might just find ourselves in a good trade, who knows? Um, in the short mode, the only reason you would switch to either long or sh short mode is because you want to take the next inflection point in that direction. So, but please note what happened in the past, it absolutely doesn't matter. When I switch to short mode, all I'm interested in is the next short signal, which hasn't happened yet. So what's in the past, it doesn't matter. Long mode, the same thing. If I plan the next long trade, so let's, uh, Let's have a last look on this situation here at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. on that day. So in this kind of situation, there's not much to do. The only thing I can think of quickly is a retest of the broken resistance or support line that has become resistance. And if it does come back here and gives me a retest of the previous support, then I might become interested in a short trade and, and take a short uh, in the short mode in that case right now i'm in the long mode well it just i forgot to switch off the system and uh, probably another loser okay uh the auto mode amit the auto mode doesn't take all inflection points uh on the precision chart the auto mode follows a built-in algorithm evaluating some i don't know I don't know how many factors, but several, numerous factors, and makes a decision about giving you a certain signal in the direction of the higher time frame trend. So our YouTube videos for a week that we recorded those uh, full week sessions were run in auto mode. And the only thing that that demonstrates is basically the robustness of the system. Uh, having said that, what you can see here that a bunch of green signals are followed by red signals. And what we're interested in is basically this area. When they change colors, then this will tell me that I shouldn't be interested in long trades anymore. So that's what we use the auto mode for mainly. I shouldn't be interested in long trades. I should be focusing on the next possible shorts. And then the system will give me the next possible shorts in auto mode. I always have the chance and the option to 
switch to short and decide myself when I want to take the next short. So I hope I was able to answer that. Let's see. RJ is asking, yes, to get a short signal, you need to you need two green bars. Yes, if it's a, if it's in auto mode, RJ obviously knows the system already. So I'm I'm happy to hear that. Yes, uh, to take uh, to get a signal, you need for the pullback, you need a minimum of two Renko bars in the opposite color. Yes. Thank you, Amit. Uh, Amit says the system looks great. I'm, I'm glad you agree. And what if I had been in the flow, in the trading flow, and uh, been able to take a couple of good trades? But we'll come to that as well. Let's see. Andreas is asking, what's the advantage of the Renko chart and the Renko, using the Renko bar? Uh, very good question. I'm glad you asked that, Andreas. The Renko has advantages and certainly disadvantages. The question is, let me raise these drawing tools in the meantime. In our system, we build on the advantages that the Renko bars offer. And the advantage of the Renko bar in our system is to hide the noise. We're simply not interested in the noise. Sorry, uh, we're not interested in the noise. In this system, we don't care about little things the little pebbles on the road. We want to sit in the backseat of a limousine and not feel the pebbles on the road. So the Renko bar gives us obvious market directions that we want to participate in. We are aware of the fact that these are basically distorting reality, hiding the little details, but that's what, that's what we want exactly in this system and we do enter with limit orders so we do not enter we do not use market orders uh, when entering a trade and uh, so we want to squeeze as many ticks out of the trade as possible another advantage is that our indicators that we are using since they are based on the close of the bar they're giving us a much cleaner interface to work with less clutter and uh, we've been using this for years, and uh, my eyes still like these charts. I, uh, I really like working on these charts. They're clean, and I'm used to it, and I wouldn't change it for anything. That doesn't mean that other uh, you know, systems are, cannot be successful of those. There's many methodologies and many ways to be successful in the market. Uh, when it comes to intraday trading, this is how we like or prefer to do it. Let me see. Sam is asking, is the Remex system a collection of Bloodhound templates and Blackbird templates? Yes. Yes, Sam, thanks for the question. The Remex system is basically a protected Bloodhound file with a built-in algorithm. Let me just try to pull this over here. So here, the Remex system is a BLK file. The BLK file is a Bloodhound file, a protected Bloodhound file. It has built-in settings that it, you cannot see. That's a built-in algorithm. It's supposed to take the money for you. It was built to take the money for you and to save you from large losses. So the profit-taking algorithm and the capital preservation algorithm is contained here. Now, we have moved, or we have actually included some of the rules, some of the algorithm, basically, in Blackbird, because the difference between the Remac file and Blackbird is that the Blackbird file you can modify, and we do want you to review these settings, and we want you to modify these files based on your particular circumstance. So this is where the question is, you know, what's your account size? What's your time frame? What's the instrument? What's the tick size of the instrument in monetary terms that you trade? Are you trading the NQ or the GC? It's not the same thing. What times of day, what time frame are you trading? Are you trading intraday? In that case, uh, the basic edition is best for you. Do you want to trade intraday, but you also want, you have a large account and you want to take position positions intraday, then the advanced version is ideal. And, uh, or do you want to trade any time frame, a weekly time frame for that matter? 
then you need to get the pro edition because that will not limit you um, intraday and will allow you to trade on any size uh, of, of a Renko chart. More about this and in detail, it's all in the documentation, but I appreciate the question, thanks. Okay, let me see if I can find another one. Uh, Dave is asking, do you have a summary of your weekly trading? How many trades were made and how many winners and losers? Uh, in the videos, I never, uh, I didn't make those calculations. Uh, you can, you can basically, you can go to the website and watch the videos. Uh, but please remember, this is for demonstration purposes only. In real life, we do not leave the system in auto mode and definitely not trade 24-7. It just wouldn't make sense. Uh, the videos were made for one purpose only, to show you the robustness of the system. Because we believe if the two piles, the piles of losers and the piles of winners, are indiscriminately taken for a full week and the system is still profitable, then what if I removed the obvious losers that would not take in discretionary mode? Then hopefully and likely the results would be even better. So that's that's the whole, that's the single purpose of these videos. Uh, the way it works is that I encourage everybody, if you want to go on the trial or if you're ready to purchase for that matter, uh, go to our uh, website and there's let me see resources calculators calculators you might find these useful there's a trade register you can use it freely you can save it it's a google file you can save it to your own hard drive and start using it and basically this is where you enter your trades so you take 50 trades 100 trades with the remex system and you evaluate your results and remember Skills is something we have control over. The randomness of the market, we don't. So what you would want to do is to do three, four, five sets of trades. Let's say trades 50. 50 trades, repeat it five times and evaluate your performance. And the less the variability uh, in your performance, the better the numbers will be here on the right-hand side. Okay, uh, let me, yes, let me highlight this questions coming in from the special. So uh, I appreciate your time. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at basically what the specials are. So first and foremost, we have bundles, amazing bundles for those of you who either already have some products out of the three or four so the Remex system in an ideal fashion requires, uh, well, Ninja Trader 7, definitely, and Bloodhound, definitely, and the basic version and the advanced version requires either SI per Renko or SIBT Renko. Now, many, many people already have one or several of these tools. If you don't, then here are, we try to think of all the possibilities that may occur. Um, and offer you the best possible price on bundles. So these prices are just basically unbeatable and I encourage you to check them out and just look quickly what products are included and what are the, what's the best bundle for you. So if you have one or two of the products already, try to find the bundle that offers those that you don't have yet and see if you can get a good deal. That's one way to go about it. And these are the bundle specials. They're 30% off till Sunday midnight EST. All the specials on this page uh, are valid till Sunday midnight. So those are so much about the bundles. Uh, in the middle, we wanted to first of all express, but really express our appreciation for our current customers. They've been with us for years, and we wanted to offer them uh, for a limited time anyway. Um, a very reasonable upgrade path to version 2.0. So these prices are for them. If you are a current license holder of the Remex system, and if you happen to have the other ingredients already, then all you have to do is, you, it's a very reasonable uh, upgrade path for you. And then we encourage you to either test the system or just to upgrade and start using it. 
Now, if you're already making money and if you're rolling with version 1.x, then I would say stay with it. There's no reason why, why change something that doesn't require any changes. Otherwise, if you're interested in what version 2 can offer you, then uh, this is the time to upgrade, definitely. Now, as an extra gesture, if you upgrade, you get all three editions. So we didn't want to really be, you know, uh, what's the word? Can't think of the word right now, but we, we, want, we just wanted to give you uh, uh, all three editions for this price. Now, then that goes for the bundles. I forgot to mention, when you choose any of the bundles, you automatically get all three editions of the Remex system. And uh, that's a pretty good do deal, if you ask me. Now, we wanted to do something special for the new customers. If you happen to have the Bloodhound, Bloodhound and Blackbird already, then uh, we wanted to give you something special and uh, a reasonable way to start using the Remex system. You can get the any edition now at 30% for 30% off. Uh, that's for one edition. But here's the plus, you get a second edition of your choice free. And uh, you may be interested in getting a second edition as well, especially if it's free. All you have to do is just please send me an email after the purchase. So whichever per whichever edition you want to buy, just, just tell me by email which other edition you want to have. You can have one other one out of the three. One, two, three, the basic, advanced, and professional. And I'll be happy to extend the license for that other edition as well. So that's all basically that I had today. Let me see if there's any other questions coming in. And I hope I didn't run out of time. Amit is asking another one. If the, if the system takes counter trend trades based on divergence, we have three oh, thanks thanks for uh, asking that question let me show you the trades we take uh, documentation and the setups okay so here we go if you can i hope you can see this chart uh, many people have seen this already it's just a demonstration of the three setups that we look at for when we trade first is a pullback pullback trade that's a with trend trade and we have two other trades the anti or setups rather anti and the failure test which are aggressive counter trend trades so and we have the breakout trade which i always mention as number four we normally don't take too many breakout trades because by nature the takeout i'm sorry the breakout trades do not always give us a price inflection point since it breaks out so it's hard sometimes to find a good entry with the Remex system, but you can all, you can manually, you can always take a trade if you want. So that said, we focused on three setups, the pullback, the anti, and the failure test. Out of the three, two are decidedly counter trend. So that's the answer to uh, Amit's question. Let me see. Right, uh, a question to Ty, when is it gonna be available for NT8? And RJ's right, when the Remex, the Remex system will be available for NT8 as soon as Bloodhound and Blackbird is available for NT8. So there's a codependence there. And we're looking forward to that uh, date pretty soon. But you're right, it's uh, probably Ty who could answer that more closely. Mm -hmm. More precise. Yeah, I'll, Go ahead, Ty. All I can say, guys, is a, a public beta will be announced within a week or so. So just hang in there. Um, we're making huge steps. It's just Bloodhound and, and Blackbird are considerably complex trading tools, uh, but we're we're almost there, and we really appreciate you guys hanging in there. Thank you. And I think I uh, spent enough time uh, detailing the system and the special offers. And uh, Ty, let me give the word back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ference, again for presenting today. Uh, very informative and technical, just the kind of stuff the Shark audience enjoys. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, for Ference, uh, which email do you prefer they reach you at, Ference? Oh, uh, Ferenc dot, or oh, sorry, at, let me just go to the contact page right away. 
First of all, you can use our website or Ferenc at remeg.ca or you can just fill this form out. I'm sorry, I forgot to put it on the chart. Maybe I should do it now. So I, uh, uh, let me see, what's the insert text? Okay, let me put it right here. It has a Hungarian spelling, which I think it's maybe better if I write it down. So this is how it's spelled. Any type of F is okay in an email address. So that's where you can write to me and I'll be happy to be at your service. Awesome. Thanks again. And real quick while I have you, Ferenc, um, Eva's asking, can this be used with Forex? Yes, of course. It can be used on Forex and also on equities. The only thing that, uh, Eva, the only thing that we, we usually like to mention uh, is that I think the instrument that you want to trade, make sure it's liquid. Renko bars, for Renko bars to give us the edge that we you know, we build our trading methodology on, I think it's better, it's very desirable that the instrument you trade is liquid. So US futures, there are many um, other markets around the world from Australia to Europe, uh, many, many options um, or possibilities to choose the instrument of your preference. Just make them, just make sure that they're liquid or you trade them at a time when they're liquid. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. And one quick uh, last question for you, Ferenc. Ralph is asking, um, because the offer says it expires at the end of the week, so does that mean uh, Sunday, technically? Sunday midnight EST. All right. Sunday midnight Eastern time. Awesome. So again, guys, any uh, any other questions for Ferenc, just send them to Ferenc at Remick.ca. Uh, any questions specifically for Shark Indicators, you can direct to support at sharkindicators.com. And if you tuned in late, uh, don't worry, I'll be sending the recording link uh, via email tomorrow morning at the latest. So just look for an email from Ty at Shark Indicators. So thanks again, Ferenc, and thank you, traders. And you guys have a great night and an awesome weekend. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure being with you. And uh, have a good week, all of you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.